today is the day that I forgot I had an appointment. I took Mason to school, turned around, got gas, came back home, and I was like, shit, I have an appointment at 10. So in like 30 minutes, I had to rush down here. So it's about my sleep, my shoes, and glucose intolerance referral. So the doctor and now I'm getting a pap smear. I'm not nervous. I've had plenty of them done before but ah, the day I didn't take a shower because I was going back home to jump in the shower to realize I had an appointment. I'll do it. So here we go. Alright guys so it is raining. I don't know yet. It's raining as y'all can tell. But I just moved the stuff down to the porch that goes in the camper. Uh, I went to my doctor's appointment and then we came home and then I had to go pick up Mason. That was the other day. But um, yeah, I got blood work today and a pap smear. Yay. But um, I'm just cleaning up the porch. I'm making room right here because all of, all of this was over here so i'm cleaning this all up going through it as much as i can pitching a lot of it um but yeah i'm just making more of a walkway room because honestly there's no sense in all being right there <laughs> did you get it Alright guys, good morning. It is Sunday the 7th. Yeah. And we didn't go to church. Girl pulls having a lot of pain and stuff like that. So I figured I'd take the kids for a walk and let them rest. Um, it was too late to go to church. Look at you. Let me see. Whoa, can you go put it back? Yeah, I see. Okay, go put them back. No, we're not painting that one. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still a little bit tired from my sleeping medicine. Um, I started back up on that just because I was not going to sleep last night. Last night was horrible. Um, Aubrey wasn't going to sleep because of the simple fact. Abs, out of the road. Stay still, wait for the car. I was wanting to go to sleep. She was complaining that her leg was hurting, so I had to heat her up with a little heating pad and put it on her just for Mason to get something in his eye, and it took us like an hour or two to get it out. Then I, he finally lay down, and his leg was hurting. So we're just going for a walk. Kids are just running like usual, letting them run out their energy. Tomorrow I have my wheelchair evaluation, so I'm excited for that. Like right now, I've been walking for maybe like four minutes. I'm dead. I'm dead. But like, what do you got? Stick. Stick? Where's Bub? Mason, run back. He's not gonna get you. Be easy. She ain't, she don't want to play like that. Don't you hit him with that stick? Like I'm saying, I've, we've been walking for like maybe four minutes, and I'm dying. I just I gotta push myself to walk a little bit more, but thank God nap time's coming because I know the kids slept like crap last night and so did I. I'm just taking my time, letting the kids run, get their energy out. Mommy, I'm walking with the sticks. You're with the sticks? So yeah, that's what we're doing. Ah. Dying, but anyways. I can walk, don't get me wrong, but 
when I walk for more or more than like four or five minutes, I'm dead. My legs start to hurt. They start to hurt. When I get about to 10 minutes of walking, um, they really, really, really start to hurt. And then if I, and usually like they throb and I have to like take some medicine, like um, a gabapentin and stuff like and that. Like you got a stick? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but um, I take like a gabapentin and put a heating pad on my leg and then I can't move for a little bit. So that's the fun of it. So like I got to push myself to walk and stuff. But the reason for a wheelchair, um, I could use a regular manual wheelchair, but the thing is, is I don't have the arm strength. Yeah, that's the water. I don't have the arm strength to use um, a regular manual wheelchair, so I have to get like a power assist, which is, um, it's a manual wheelchair with the electric wheels and the battery pack in the back to give it a shot. That way um, I can wheel it and it helps, it gives me um, assistance to push myself. Which is a lot better in the long run because I don't have to use so much arm strength. Because my arm strength is really weak too. Children said that because I've had to do with physical therapy all my life and stuff like that. That I can do what I feel comfortable with Mason until um, we get his blood work back. And then, you know, which will probably be the same strength stretches when he goes to physical therapy. So I've been having him do stretches and stuff. And they're nothing major. I mean, we do like go superhero, Whoa. go Batman, go Superman and be really, really strong. But, yeah. No. You can tell I'm breathing really, really heavy. No. I'm about to fall over. Yeah. But I keep going. Um, so, yeah. We're just going for a walk. I don't know where the day is going to get us. Oh, like I was saying, Mason stretches. I have him I have him do uh -huh. his two or three times a day. No, no. And then, like, the ones I no. do. Um, I have him do pretty much the same. No. Like, five seconds of ten of them. If. He can do them. Um, sometimes his legs start hurting him and stuff like that, and we just quit. But I have him do it two, three times a day. What are you doing, bud? Careful, did you fall? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay to fall. I promise. You just gotta do what you can and keep them uh, keep them active and stuff, but limitations you know what I mean once I get my wheelchair I can start going um, if they have one that I can rent like I said I had a power assist wheelchair but something happened to it so I have to see if children's has a rental that I can use um, tomorrow that fits me and if they do then I can start going for the kids on walks if not I'm gonna have to sit there and wait two years for another one is your leg starting to hurt Yeah. your legs are hurting all right, we'll turn around. It's like we're turning around. Mason's been learning about nature at school. Sure, and, you know, bees and how trees give off oxygen and stuff like that. And I think that's really cool for preschool because I don't remember any of my schoolwork or, like, papers being sent home stating that we were learning about nature in that sense. Like, we learned about birds, but we didn't learn about, like, trees giving off oxygen for us to breathe and taking in carbon dioxide. And, like, they're teaching him... How it, how it works through the leaves and stuff like that. Is that the hole you was talking about, bud? Yeah. And okay. And what lives there? Uh, owl. Owls? Yeah. Owl. Owl. He's got the idea right. Up. He's taking the stick and walking with it like he's an old man. No big deal. I used to do the same thing, I believe. Uh, Alright, guys, so... So I wanted to um, fill this little um, add in to yesterday's vlog because I forgot that I was blogging yesterday. But um, today I went to my wheelchair evaluation and pretty much we discussed everything that was going on. But before I get into that, listen to this. My grandmother lost her purse and with that being said, you got Aubrey playing if you hear her. That's what that noise is. But... My grandma lost her purse yesterday and she thought she left at the store. No, we searched the house high and low and high and low. And in her purse had all the keys to every single thing, even the house. Um, all the credit cards, the money, like the, the phones, everything in her purse. That I was going to miss my appointment. So I called my mom and my mom sat there and she... 
Well, um, Aubrey got in trouble. But, um, I called my mom, my other grandma, so they picked us up at like 7 o'clock this morning, me and the kids. Mason went to work with my mom, and he got his haircut and stuff like that. Um, I know that's what was planned, so I'll see what his haircut looks like tonight, and you'll see in the next vlog. Oh, so then we go to my appointment. We get there at like 9.30. My appointment's at 11.30. And I'm sitting there, and I went all the way back down to the car and everything with Aubrey, and... Come to find out the floor that I was reporting into that they told me to report into was the wrong floor. So I missed the lady that I was supposed to talk to, um, the social worker up there, about some stuff going on. <laughs> and I'm like, look, I'm like, it's 30 minutes before my appointment. I know on the kiosk machine I can sign in. Where, like, why can I not sign in? So the lady at the front desk was like, well, I'll get you. No worry. Don't worry. I give her my name, I give her my information, I tell her my appointment time and everything like that. She was like, well, you don't have an appointment today. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I got the letter right here in my hand. And I got all that other stuff. And she was like, oh, you're supposed to be on the third floor. The third floor. Two and a half, three hours, I'm waiting on the wrong floor. Okay, so... I go upstairs, I sign in and anything. Well, I finally get taken back. And what they did um, was they just evaluated, like, didn't physically check me out really, but we was going over with a solution and a plan. The guy that I spoke to said that he has a wheelchair um, at his facility. He's going to be booked all next week. He's got one at his facility. He's going to see if he can get it set up and anything to where how I need it so I can use it. And I can use that one. Um, I got to come in and um, see how, like... I, you know, work with it before I just go home with it. They're going to try to get me a new wheelchair. They're going to try to go through insurance and explain to them what happened and everything. And hopefully I can get a new wheelchair. If not, I'll have this, like, rental. Um, but they're going to see if they can get a copy because my wheelchair was a hybrid of two chairs. So it was a manual chair with, like, power assist. So not many around or anything like that. So it was, like... A limited edition per se to follow up in a couple of weeks and just keep in touch and see what now goes from there about my wheelchair and we went over the things that I liked and disliked about my other one and like I wasn't being picky it was more along the lines of like the tires alone were like 40 pounds each I can't lift over 20 pounds the chair I couldn't pick up the chair even if I wanted to and given the fact that like I had a van at the time and we're in a car now but I'm trying to get a van. Um, you know, it has to be able to be folded down into the back of a car and stuff like that. And it has to be able to be like where I could pick up the chair and stuff and how I can break it down. And if it's too hard for me to break down, then they're going to see about going around it and making it differently for that way I can break it down. If that makes sense. That's that in a nutshell. And I know this vlog's going to be kind of long as is because like yesterday I was videotaping for like 12... 13 minutes I think so I'm going to end this and I will check up with you guys in the next video I just want to let you guys know the update on that but yeah I'll catch you guys later bye